subsurface agricultural drainage has allowed large productivity gains in the Midwest. But there are concerns about pollutants in the system, especially the nitrate form of nitrogen that can be present in clear tile water. Tile drainage water may flow into local streams and rivers that are drinking water sources for many communities. Expensive nitrate removal systems must be used to make the water safe for drinking, especially if nitrate concentrations are excessive. Nitrates also contribute to the Gulf of Mexico's hypoxic zone. Wood chip bioreactors are a recent practice that can help reduce the amount of nitrate in field drainage water before it enters these local surface waters. Here's how they work. Tile drainage water is routed through a buried trench filled with wood chips. Soil bacteria use the wood chip carbon as food and nitrates in the water as part of their respiration. The conversion of nitrate to simple nitrogen is called denitrification, so the structures are really denitrification bioreactors. The design has two control structures. Gates in both can be set to increase or decrease water flow, increasing or decreasing both the amount of water treated and treatment time. The inflow control structure routes tile water into the bioreactor and allows excess water to bypass. The outflow structure helps hold the water long enough for the bacteria to have time to remove the nitrate. A typical installation is 100 to 120 feet long and 20 feet wide, draining 30 to 80 acres. The shape fits well into buffer strips or grassed areas. Wood chips used in bioreactor research are one to two inches in size and can be locally sourced. Bioreactors are designed to treat subsurface drainage water with high amounts of nitrate nitrogen but relatively little sediment. They aren't intended to treat runoff or water collected along terraces and work best in drainage systems with few surface intakes. Most bioreactors show performance of about 15 to 60 percent nitrate load removed per year.